Um, I wrote this down actually. Uh, I just did recently. Um, uh, I left to go to Arizona to put myself in a five, six day boot camp of meditation. Hear me out. Um, it really was just to separate myself from the world just for a little bit. Um, meditate, pray, be in the word of God. And then like also give thanks because when I was in the time of place where I was like, oh, I'm really struggling. Um, the times where I break off from the world and meditate, it always brought me back to life. And then now that thank God, everything's just like in such good rhythm and everything mm -hmm. is so amazing. I don't want to wait until the junk builds up for me to start, you know, making sure my physical, my mental, my spiritual is all set. And while I, Tommy, Tommy has like a bone bigger than his body. <laughs> um, and the one thing I wanted to bring up from that time that I was just deeply reflecting is I'm speaking for myself, not for everyone, but there might be a lot of people that could relate. I don't think we do enough reflecting anymore. As human beings, I think we absorb everything like sponges from the moment we wake up to jumping on social media till when we go to bed, binge watching something that we're into to sending each other content. Um, I think we're just absorbing so much of what everybody else got going on that we're not putting time aside for us to build on what we have right now. And so I've been very diligent on making sure that I write down my feelings, reflect every process that I got going on, because I feel like a lot of anxiety that I used to have was from not prepping of me going into my season that I'm about to go into. And so mm. like, truly, I say to you guys, if you're dealing with a lot of um, just like you feel like there's a lot on your chest or there's a lot on your back, dude, if you calculate the time that you put in, that's bullshit, that will not give you anything and just take a portion of that time that you're like just binging on shit and focus on things that you need to get done and that what you need to do for your bloodline or your family or your household, a lot of the, like, a lot of the uh, weight just gets off your shoulders because it's a lot of procrastination. Procrastination. Pro that's close. Procrastination. Picasso. Procrastination. Pro precipitation. Procrastination. Do you guys know what I'm saying, though? Yes. Do you, do you guys, Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That's what I'm yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, and It's I, just so much easier to procrastinate, though, and just push it off. It's like, yeah. it's not easy 100%. to do it. It's obviously mm -hmm. the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But, but you it's know like eating healthy versus boom. eating fast food. Mm -hmm. Boom. And, and, the, and the reason why he says that, think about it. Break that down, right? You're excited. You want to eat something that's no good for you in the moment. You're happy. You eat it. You're eating it. You're happy. But then afterwards, there's sorrow. There's regret. There's consequences. Mm -hmm. But then if you eat healthy, you're like, I don't want to eat this. It doesn't even really taste good. You eat it. You go through that. The next stage is, you know, now you have protein. Now you have energy. You, you reap the rewards yeah. from yeah. it at a later time. It's not an instant dopamine rush. Mm -hmm. But it's, yeah. I think also it's important to like set intent with your day because if you don't start your day with the intent of being like mindful, you can't make those like the mindful mm -hmm. choices decisions. Yeah.